Time to start doing some Renault prep. Next week I've got the aerator booked in to aerate this area. So today Tay and I are gonna come in, scalp it back, so pre prepared for Renault, give it some furt, clean up the edges, and maybe give it a little scarifier just to make sure the scarifier is working right and get a little bit of the dead material out before Renault next week to get as much oxygen in here to get this thing kicking into gear. All right, let's get it done. Sounds good. Yeah, mate, what up? Welcome to another Lawn Tip vid. So it's been four weeks since we put Lawn Row on the kaiki here to clear out the ryegrass because we don't want ryegrass here in the warmer months because it will suppress the kike and make it look absolutely nasty. So it's pretty much all gone now. Taking a little bit longer because it's a bit cooler. You generally do expect to see two to three to four weeks to kill off all your ryegrass and your weeds. You can see all the clover and stuff in here, it's killed it. That's all completely dead. Didn't like it at all. And all the ryegrass is pretty much cleared out. We're left with some kike here that looks sort of slightly still coming out of dormancy. It's out of dormancy, but it's just got a really, really lime green color across the board. So I want to wake this up a bit, as I said at the start. So today we're going to scalp it back to help get some oxygen down in here, get some of my Dominate fertilizer out to really kick in the guts. I like to do it a week before renovation. I was planning to do renovation earlier this year, but we, this year, but we just got some frosts like a week ago. So it didn't happen, which I'm glad I didn't do it last week when there was frost a bit. If you had done that, don't stress, and if you've got a bit of frost, it will come back. It just takes a little bit longer to repair. It might just stunt it for a bit. But as I said, renovation prep, this is not something you have to do, but something I like to do personally because it does get your lawn a little bit of a head start. It gives you a little bit of a head start before you do the reno the following week. So if you've never done a renovation before, stick around for next week. We're gonna do a scout back really, really low, nearly to dirt. Today we're doing a light scout, so we're not taking off as much next week. We could do the heavy scout today, but we'll save it for next week. Why not? <laughs> then, so scalp. I like to do a scarify with Kaiku, Cooch, Soezia, not with Buffalo. I don't worry about it with fescue and ryegrass. You can do it with those grass types, but it's not a need. You don't need to go super deep. We do that to get at all the dead organic material out from below the soil and a little bit above. With Buffalo, I just recommend scalping, but not scalping back to dirt because it's all above ground runners. And the same with Queensland Blue Cooch also. Don't go too crazy with that. Anyway, scalp it back, and then we're gonna do some aeration, which I've got my twin brother from Ecoscape Lawns and Gardens gonna help and do that. He did the green surrounds last year. Core aeration, and then after that, a top dress, and then some fertilizer, some wetting agent, just to really get this thing growing and going well. We've got tons of rain next week too, so it'll be perfect. I just went looking for my scarifier and it's not in the shed, so I'm pretty sure I lent it to Josh, my brother, when he did his ryegrass overseed, so I'll have to get that. Good thing we don't really need it today. I just like to do a little bit of a scarify the week before, just so you don't have to go so heavy the following week and remove so much more material. It's just something I personally like to do, but we ain't doing that today, so just a scalp. So we're just using the old X380. I've been using that the last few years. It's great because I've got the catcher. It doesn't scalp super low, but it's enough that when we go to do it with the big bob next week and take it to dirt, we're not pulling a ton of material out. So it's more just to make things a lot less labor intensive in the following week. So we'll cut it up now, do the edges with the, um, with the edge of taste on it now, and then give it a scalp, give it some foot. Excellent job, mate. Did that in like three, right. mi three minutes. Oh, mate, the joys of ride-ons. Uh, look, it like greened up, so I must have cut all like the frost burnt tips off and it's green. It's weird. See how much we got off. I don't think we got much out of here. 
Um, but it did, uh, it was pretty low as it was. It scalped some bits on the edges, but at least we've got a ton of material off. Yeah, we just put off leaves and dead stuff, basically. Not heaps. A lot less than I thought it was going to be, but it's going to be a lot easier to scalp it next week, which is the main reason we're doing this, to help get a little bit of oxygen down in there. We won't get a ton, but it will make a little bit of a difference, but get some fur out in there, so it's ready to grow for reno time. So last step for today is to get the fertilizer out. So we've got some Dominate Mini just here, so my Dominate product. So we're using the Mini because it is a little bit shorter here. Say if I was 20 mil and above, it'd be fine to use the Dominate. They're both exactly the same product. One's just got a smaller granule size, what we call a prill size. So it'll just sit in the canopy a little bit better and you won't mow it up like a couple of days after putting it out. So put this out today, not at the full rate. Full rate for this is three kilos per hundred square meters. We're gonna go, we'll go two kilos per hundred square meters and probably put out another kilo, kilo and a half the following week, or the following couple of weeks, sorry, after that. So about three or four weeks after the renovation. Just to give a little kick, because what we put down today is gonna help push us into gear. Now, some people like to split it up one kilo a week before and then a kilo on reno day, and I've done that in the past, and you can definitely do that. That's what I recommend on my lawn plans, but today I was gonna put out the two kilos and then follow it up in four to five weeks after the fact. So I'll put it out today, spread it out, water it in, easy. I'll show you the prill size too. So you can see it's a nice fine prill, which means it's gonna sit below the canopy of the grass. Say if I was, as I said, up above 20 mil, go the larger prill, it's not a problem. But this is just nicer on the shorter cut turf. This is not greens grade, it's like fairway grade. Yeah, about that, that's about it. Yep, maybe a little bit more, that's maybe a bit more, but that's right. Sorry, I meant maybe a bit more for less. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So whenever I do a spreading with a fertilizer spreader, I like to go in two directions. If you've got a tiny yard, you can do it by hand, but it might be worth buying one of those $30 Scott spreaders just because it does do a more even application. I've seen guys do it by hand before and have these big dark green patches and then light green spots. I've seen it recently in the emails a little bit, so <laughs> if you can get a spreader, I'd recommend you do. Let's go. Generally, I would water it in within 24 hours with something like my Sumi Soakers, which is what I use on this area. This is just a soaker hose, and it's really good because it doesn't chuck out too much water and it allows it to soak in. We've got rain coming in about 24 hours tomorrow afternoon, so I'm gonna leave the fertilizer here on the leaf and let the rain do its thing just to save water because I've actually got a leak in our concrete water tank at the moment, so I prefer not to use water, drinking water. I could hook the, the ball water up actually, but it's a bit of a process, so yeah. Today we'll just wait for the rain, because we can. This is very low chance of this product burning. Unless it's stinking hot, I wouldn't do this. And you can't apply it to the wet ground. So if, say if we had dewy ground, it does activate the prill a little bit and can, can create a bit of burn. So that's a situation where you'd want to get water down pretty much straight away, but it's dry here, so it's not going to be a problem. Lawn's actually looking pretty good. I'm surprised with the color there. Obviously just cutting the top off, got rid of those frost tips and everything, so we're ready. Ready for reno. The kaikyu is growing. It's a little bit warmer up near the house too, because we've got concrete surrounding the whole area. It doesn't get frost like the rest of the property either on the cooler days, so it's definitely ready for a reno. So keep an eye out next week when we're gonna go aeration, scout, scarify, top dress, and then we're also gonna level it out and water it in and baby back to hell, so. Thanks guys so much for watching today, really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in next week's vid. Bye.